So this will be the last call for all of the cool shit that is in Eververse, Xur, and Ada One as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I will be pulling from previous videos because if you guys want to see a more in-depth view of the things that I'll be showcasing, you guys can check them out there. But other than that, let's look at Ada, well, then Xur, and then Eververse because I feel like that's going to be the best order. So Ada One is selling some pretty cool shaders. I already made a, a video for it if you guys want to check out the in-depth review of it because we go through each of the shaders and whatnot. But for the armor set, we're going to be looking at these right here. This is basically the recolor of the Crucible armor for Destiny Vanilla, the Destiny 2 Vanilla Year 1, whatever. And it's really cool. I really, really like the Titan one. Titan one's probably my favorite because I have all the pieces uh, already because I love them. And yeah, I think this armor set is probably the best armor set in Destiny 2 for Titans, hands down. Like, I'm not even kidding. Uh, Hunters. I think all of it is really, really cool as well. I don't think any of the pieces are bad by any means. They're actually really, really cool. It's just when you compare it with the Titans, I just it's just not no contest. And then Warlocks, honestly, uh, yeah, you guys look like hobos. I'm sorry. Like I again, if you guys want to check out my more in-depth uh, review, check out the Edo video. But needless to say, the Warlock, I just think you guys look like hobos. Unfortunately, every piece just looks bad. Like none of them look really cool aside from the helmet. But even then, like the the unfortunate part is because this is the re reskin of the year one crucible armor, that means that the year two and year three ornaments for crucible also got like new ornaments for the helmet. And those look way better than what this is. So very unfortunate. But let me know what you guys think. As for the shader, it's going to be Midnight Exigent for the first one. Uh, again, I'm just going to show you the shaders and not really talk about my opinion because I made that clear in that video. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I just don't like the cloth color for that like bluish tint. I just don't like that. The next one's going to be Cairo's bronze. This is definitely going to be the shade you guys should definitely pick up because it looks really, really good. Definitely love the contrast between the plate armor and the cloth armor. And then last but not least, Dead Orbit Vision, which we have reviewed in previous videos because uh, Ada has sold this before, unfortunately, because I would like to see new shaders. But I think this is pretty cool, uh, especially if you want to go outside the box for a date orbit shader. As for Zur, he is currently selling the Escalation Protocol armor, which is a banger of an armor set. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, the Titans for sure have the best armor set. If you guys want to see the full video, I'll show you guys the Zur video right now. This is where we go through the armor set and actually go in depth. I talk about all the pieces and whatnot and some suggestions for the wiring because the wiring, the yellow wiring does not change color. But needless to say, these are the armor sets. They're really cool. Definitely pick them up if you don't have them because I have never seen Zer sell these armor sets. So that is why I'm having a last call. Well, that and because I want to start doing last calls. But that's also why I posted the videos yesterday because I do think a lot of the pieces that we got from different piece, from different uh, vendors is really good. And again, definitely pick this armor set up because this is one of the rarest armor sets. It's from Escalation Protocol, which is from escalation protocol from Warmind. it's the third no second dlc that destiny 2 has ever had that was a while ago so if you guys want to have some armor from that that era definitely pick this up i know it's annoying because the wiring doesn't change color and the visors don't change color as well but i still think it's good to have just because you might never know when you might need it and if you ever want to go for a siva inspired look then you definitely should pick this one up because you can definitely do that with this. I have also made a SIVA look for all the classes. You can check it up right here. If you guys want to have some more inspiration on that. And just to quick quickly note for the exotics, it's lucky pants, uh, armamentarium and starfire protocol. All of these are bangers. I definitely think you should pick them up, especially if you are, if you main any of these classes, all of these are going to be good in, in their own separate way. Lucky pants is basically good for hand cannons. Really, really good. Uh, armamentarium you get a, an additional grenade does not it's not specifically a grenade it's any grenade so go ham with any grenade you like and then starfire protocol specifically you have to use fusion grenades but this is literally the best exotic in the game right now at least i think so and then for the weapon it's prospector which is okay and then for the other stuff we have hawk moon with opening shot and then dead man's tail with vorpal which vorpal now that Cranium, whatever it's called, doesn't proc with damage or it doesn't have damage anymore, then I definitely think uh, Vorpal is viable. But yeah, that's pretty much for Xur. As for Eververse, I am here only to tell you for one thing. Aerobo's Glance is here. This is, I think this is the last time we'll see Aerobo's Glance ever. 
So I definitely think you should pick up, pick it up. You might never know. They might sell it in the future, but this is definitely a shader you should pick up. I also already reviewed this, this shader as well. You guys can check it out right here. Definitely pick this shader up guys. You will, you will regret not picking this one up because it is probably the, the best black shader we have currently. And I know you guys are going to immediately say, well, there's orange. Like, why is this all? This is an all black. It is the best shader if you want to go for an all black look. But the off color will be orange and the glow will also be orange. But again, check out the Erebus Glance review video because I explained further why it's the best shader and also why this orange doesn't bother me as much. If not, I actually do like it. Uh, but just to give you like some quick notes about it. The orange is really cool because it goes with another shader that I do uh, showcase in the Oribos Glance review, but it I also tell you guys that it's actually not like just interchange some shaders that are all black and it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I know a lot of people are like immediately like, I just want super black and no other color. We're probably never going to get that because Bungie is holding that in their back pocket until they need to use it, which... I should make a video on that because I do think they have that a lot of that specifically like the the Age of Triumph uh, raid armor stuff. I know they're holding that in their back pocket. The Destiny 2 uh, Iron Banner year two and three ornaments are definitely they're definitely holding those as well. SRL exotic class items. I can talk about it for a while, for a while. So that's pretty much it for this. I mean, we, you also have some cool stuff. Circadian Chill is a really cool shader that I really like a really cool like platinum white with a really cool blue definitely is a super cool one we have the ornament for lay monarch which is really cool and then at the bottom we have another ornament for the forerunner which is really really cool and we also have the exotics uh ornaments the helmets specifically for all the classes which is really really cool then the helmets for the new armor set which i have reviewed as well and done the individual pieces up so if you guys want to check it out definitely pick it up check it out because again we go through all the armor but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Again, I definitely think a lot of the pieces in, that we got this uh, week for all of the stuff that I showed you are bangers. Like a lot of them are really, really cool. So definitely don't miss out on it because I promise you, you will regret it. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I will see you guys later.